I've heard that one baby mountain gorilla that was recently kidnapped was rescued and is now being kept near the park headquarters. I want to find out how she's being looked after and whether one day she'll be reintroduced to the wild. This is three-year-old Maisha. Park staff were tipped off that she was for sale and rescued her from the cave where she was secretly hidden. Maisha is cared for 24-7 by staff from the Mountain Gorilla Veterinary Program, the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International, and the park authorities. The vets here are world-class experts in gorilla medicine, but caring for mountain gorillas in captivity is not easy. Few have survived to adulthood, so Maisha is watched closely. Primatologist Alicia Lilly is one of the many dedicated people monitoring Maisha's progress. When she came in, she was very stressed and in a fragile state. And when an infant is in that state, they need to be assessed psychologically and they need to be assessed physically by the veterinarians to determine the best way to help her recover. One of the tests Alicia does is to introduce Maisha to novel things, like a new toy or a scary stranger, and see how she responds. Today, Alicia has asked me to be that scary stranger. Step forward. Step forward. Step forward. Stop. Now do the scary stranger face. Okay, come back please. Thank you. She was unfazed. I know, it's wonderful. She was cautious and suspicious as she should have been with you, but she was not fearful, and that's what we want to see. She just thought there's another crazy human. <laughs> Well, she's seen a few. <laughs> play is a good thing. It's a healer. And I was very pleased to see her playing and showing play faces today because not only is she receiving play, but she's instigating play. I think we'd all like this job of <laughs> being her playmates. <laughs> Well, this is the fun stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia and her colleagues have a moral dilemma. A life in captivity is not ideal for Maisha, but reintroducing her to the wild is very risky. She could be rejected, injured, or even killed. What are your plans for Maisha? Well, our immediate plans are to help her recover from her psychological trauma, but I, I'm very hopeful right now that she can go into a social group mm -hmm. of other gorillas. And everything we're doing, every step of the way, works clearly toward the goal or the hope mm -hmm. that at some point in the future she can go into the wild. But that's a step-by-step -step process. But she's doing very well now. <laughs> 